watch. Keep in mind on Fitbit devices, there isn't currently a way to quickly call for help. So what about using your voice? You can ask Siri to call 911 and Google Assistant too. And while Alexa can't directly dial 911, Amazon does have a subscription service called Alexa Emergency Assist, which will connect you to a trained agent for help. It's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with these emergency shortcuts before you actually need them. Just be careful not to dial 911 accidentally if you try to test them out. I'll put instructions on how to use these shortcuts on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. I'm Rich Demiro. That's Rich on Tech. All good things to know right there, especially if you are in an emergency. Yes, and you can always visit the website. Like you said, he always posts everything. Everything on Rich on Tech. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for NBC 23 News. Today, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. <sighs> You know, the national days have been stuck on the island. We're going <laughs> to get you out of there. Actually, we're going as far as out of Texas for this national day. Oh, yeah. I get scared of leaving Texas. <laughs> I know, Texas is home. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to Maryland because it is National Maryland Day. Okay. Yeah. National Maryland Day. Fun fact, I got my master's degree from Maryland, no cool. Notre Dame, Mar Maryland University. But you know what? Um, I had never been there before until uh, uh, until school. Oh, really? So, but mm -hmm. it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever been to Maryland? I have, yeah. Okay. What, what, do you, what did you think of it? I thought it was cool. Yeah. The side that I was on, I think I was like kind of near the port side. Okay. And I visited some art museum in the oh. area. Okay, okay. Took pictures near there. Yeah. It was cool. It was fun. And, and you know what I thought was fascinating, just because I'm not used to it here from, you know, the valley, was the row houses. Like, all the houses yes. just so mm -hmm. close together. And I was like, that's so different. Like, yeah. you have that. Like, when I used to live in Pennsylvania, that's all you saw was okay. row houses. Okay. And that whole area, uh, Pennsylvania, yeah. uh, Baltimore, Maryland, mm -hmm. which is the same area, but yeah. still, like, parts of Virginia, just row homes. Yeah, and then in fall, like the leaves actually change like different yes. colors, mm -hmm. you know? And here we just have our palm trees, which are beloved, but. Yes, and the winter, they actually experience winter. That's crazy, with right? With snow. Wow. And yet, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, if you do go to Maryland, be sure to check out the art uh, museum, yeah, I guess? Yeah, art museum near okay. the port. Yeah. Can't miss it. And I would say check out the walking trails because there are a lot of areas with greenery. And I will say, really yeah, nice. it, when I went to Maryland, there was a lot of runners. Yeah. Because I, I, I was in the Baltimore area and there was a lot of people running or biking. So that's cool to be around. That's awesome. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, sunshine, I guess, sunshine. right? Sunshine. Usually. Was it right? sunny when I went? Oh, it was raining when I went. That, I was going to say, yeah, it was, it was raining too for yeah. me a lot. Does it rain a lot over there? Yeah. Uh, there? And it's very, uh, it's very like cloudy, very dark mm -hmm. skies. Mm -hmm. But then again, there were the sunny days, you know? Okay. Huh, yeah. Cool. But anyway, if you guys haven't been to Maryland, now's your chance because it's National Maryland Day. There you go. So book today, and not what, tomorrow. If you like the Vikings. Those the Vikings. They're uh, out there. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I don't know. I don't know anything about sports. The Ravens. Oh, I don't know. so sorry. I'm just Where's the Vikings up at? With, uh, the Vikings. You know. <laughs> the Ravens. The Ravens. Please excuse me. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I, All these football. It's because he's so focused on the Olympics. His sports. That's right. Is yes. Little... See, there's no football Olympics. Yeah. In the summer games. Mm -hmm. So. It's okay. Forgive him. My bad. <laughs> well, I mean, we were talking about cloudy skies and things of that sort, but I <laughs> don't think we're gonna see that here. No, I don't. I don't think so either. It's gonna probably be pretty hot. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Craig has a better answer for us. <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone. We're heading into what's promising to be yet another sunny and hot day. And as you head on out the door, this is how things are shaping up. 95 by noon, 98 at 4 o'clock. Those light winds aren't going to be able to provide us much of a relief from the heat as we head into a very hot afternoon. Once again, temperatures topping out over 100 degrees across much of the western part of the valley. Even 101 in Lyford today, 99 Harlingen, 90 for a high around Port Isabel. And of course, as always, it's the heat index that's going to get you this afternoon. Uh, this is uh, kind of how things are stacking up for the heat index, but a few areas are probably going to touch 110 degrees for their heat index for a brief amount of time this afternoon. So again, be careful.